guys, welcome back. I have a really fun video today. Um, I had a request, uh, well, first off, obviously I'm in a different spot. I'm in my bathroom. Um, I had a request uh, to do a hair tutorial, um, actually a couple hair tutorials. So this is the first one. Um, and this is kind of my go-to curly hair look. Um, I wear this a lot. Um, when I have more time, I can make it look a lot cuter. So this is, I spent a little bit more time on it. Got a little crazy on this side with my sea salt spray. But um, anyway, but I can also do it very quickly before work. Like I can do this in five to 10 minutes or so. Um, what's going on there? So I can do it in five or 10 minutes or so. And yeah, so it's a, it's a quick option. Um, and the two kind of stars of the show are my reverse wand. This is the one from Sally's from Plugged In. Plugged In. And I mentioned this in my June favorites, so I really like this. Um, that, and then this um, Aquage Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. I use this often, and I really like it. Um, I use it for this style and also my kind of triple barrel waver look. So that's going to be coming up at some point soon. So if you want to see how to get this hair look, this curly hair look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so we are going to get out our reverse wand and it is hot, so be careful with it. You'll probably want to wear your glove, but I don't wear mine, so yeah, so I'm not real safe and I have burned myself before, but anyway. And then you're going to use some kind of a heat protectant just to protect your hair and spray that all over and just brush that through. And then you're going to grab by sections and you're going to start to curl away from your face. And you're just going to hold that in your hair for, it depends on your hair texture. For mine, I maybe hold it for 10 seconds, especially at the beginning when my iron isn't very hot. Um, and then I also have to go back and re-curl those sections I found. So anyway, you just grab all of the sections at the top of your hair first. You can curl some towards your face and alternate it, but I actually prefer a lot of times to go all away from my face. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to grab from the lower sections of your hair. So just kind of move those top sections out of the way and grab those and smooth them out. And then you're going to continue to curl away from your face on those different sections. And hold it. And stare in the mirror. And stare into the viewfinder. And check it. There you go. And then now you're just going to keep going around your whole head, curling your top layers and your middle layers, and then grabbing from the bottom to find those bottom layers. I just find that I want to spend the most time on my top layers, so that's why I don't divide up my hair. I have sectioned my hair before for this look, but I find that it just works better this way to just grab sections and go, especially when I'm trying to do this quickly. So yeah, just keep grabbing and curling. go back and grab any of those top sections that just weren't curled and grab them and curl them again. That's the thing with this look is a lot of times it's just repetition to get it the way you want it. When I'm in a rush I don't do as much of this but when I have more time I'm more of a perfectionist to make sure that I get every little section curled. And look in the mirror and grab those sections at the back and make sure they're curled. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to flip your hair over, or flip your head over and your hair, and you're going to take your fingers and kind of break apart the curls. If you look, I am barely touching my hair because I don't want to lose the curl. I'm just trying to break them apart a little bit. I didn't do much on that back section, but that's okay. And then flip your head back over, adjust your camera, and then you're just going to kind of run your fingers through it and check and see where you need to break those curls apart and kind of make them go together. And you're going to find sections that aren't curled like that one. Mostly I find that the top sections need to be recurled and the back. Um, for whatever reason, those top sections don't seem to hold the curl as well. So go back and grab those. Check the back of your hair. If you can see, my hair is super fine. And you can see straight to my scalp. It's gorgeous, huh? So that's why I really like this look because I'm able to really make my hair look a lot thicker than it actually is. 
And then again, go back and recurl those little sections. Anything you see that needs to be recurled. Okay, now you're going to take your comb and you're going to just run them over those curls just barely to kind of break them apart just a little bit, but you don't want to lose the curl. And then you're going to take your comb and do just a little bit of light teasing. I'm not doing a ton because I don't want to damage my hair, but just enough to give your hair a little bit more texture and a little bit more life to it. And then you're done. All right. You like it? Yeah. No, not really. Just kidding. Now you're going to take your comb and just kind of smooth out those sections a little bit. Go over your bangs. Give them a little bit of a zhuzh, a little bit of extra teasing, and a little bit of zhuzh. And then just some last minute touch ups, making sure that all those curls are, you want them to go together, but you don't want them to be one big curl, if that makes sense. You're just kind of trying to make it look like it's naturally curled. And take those last little sections, those little stinkers that won't curl. Got to go back and give them one more little quick run over. Check the back. I tell you, a lot of times I find crazy things going on in the back of my hair. And then now take your Aquage Sea Salt Texturizing Spray and just spray that over your hair. And then you're going to take your hands and just kind of zhuzh your hair a little bit. I don't know how else to describe it, but you're just kind of breaking apart those curls and making them look more natural. And then you have a little bit of a malfunction. So you take your little handy dandy comb, try to fix it, and then go back. Oh, no, we still have a problem. So we take our one from vacation, our little travel size one, and that saves the day. We got a little crazy at that section, but that's okay. But you can see how this texturizing spray really just gives your hair so much texture and life to it. I really love this one. I heard about it from Sam Sherman years ago, and I just, it's my favorite. I love it. Then take your handy dandy hairspray. If you're a Texas girl like me, you love your hairspray. So just spray it over, and I find that if I spray my hair, leave it for a little bit, and then go back and spray a little bit more, that works really well. And then it doesn't get cakey, but it's just kind of setting the style really, really well. So yeah, just some last minute little zhuzhing and little checking, and that's about it. So I hope that you enjoyed this, guys, and please subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Bye!